So not all the sessions here at this JDK conference would be are going to be about Java, about technical stuff. We also have like more community things um, or mixed uh, sessions. Like the session is going to to give her. She's Heather. Hello, Heather. Hello. I'm telling this because Heather mm, uh, is not a, a hundred percent developer, right? You do other things like this uh, JCP thing. Can you explain to the community what is it? Okay, yes, that's right. So I'm the chair of the Java Community Process Program uh, and director of the program itself. So um, my role is to um, oversee and lead uh, the executive committee. First of all, we have that as kind of like our board of directors and we also look at the structure and governance of the JCP organization itself, but also working with the technology spec leads to develop all of the JSRs, Java specification requests that get developed through the JCP and working with the broader Java community to engage them in the process of developing Java technology. So become more involved and give their feedback into the technology that they use every day. So interesting. We were talking before the, about the importance uh, about developers sharing their knowledge. Not only you can be the best, but if you don't share, if you don't uh, tell the others the things you've learned, it's useless, right? Right, yeah. So that's what the Java community process is all about. It was designed to incorporate feedback from developers into the technology before it was released as final um, releases to be used in production. So use developer feedback to make Java better. So we've made the process open and transparent, but it doesn't matter that it's open and transparent if developers aren't actually providing their feedback and looking at what's happening and giving us that information to make Java technology yeah, better sure. and stronger, more yeah, sure. widely adopted. Yeah, and uh, I'd like to ask you another another question. Uh, I found it really funny when I when I read about it. What is it, this adopt a JSR thing? Okay, well, adopt a JSR is a grassroots program actually initiated by the Java user groups. So Java is um, unique that has Java user groups all around the world, close to 500 Java user groups all around the world. And that really became um, one of the key places where we can engage with the developer community is in the user groups. So user groups actually came up with this idea of, well, we should actually adopt a JSR. That might be kind of you know a cool way for user groups to work together in their local community as well as collaborate with other user group communities around the world to actually make the technology better. Because it can seem a little bit overwhelming to just say like, oh, there's 400 JSRs, go adopt one, right? Yeah. So, uh, or go work on one. And I even mentioned in my last answer, right, adoption. So it's all about adopting the technology, right? Growing it, making it stronger, making it better. So in the US, and I think I've seen it in a few other places as well on the, on the highways, sometimes it says like adopt a highway. Yeah, it's I've kind of it, similar yeah. to that kind of an idea, right? So you're, it has like a philanthropic you know, bit to it, but at the same time, you know, you're helping yourself. So as yeah. a developer, you're growing your technical knowledge, you're growing kind of your soft skills. So those skills that are becoming increasingly more important to the role of computer programmers, right? Like being able to communicate, collaborate, um, work with people in different time zones. So you're learning those kind of skills. You're increasing your visibility in the community. You're advancing your career and you're having fun at the same time. So the Java community, when we get together in person, you know, which often we do at developer conferences like this, when people have fun while you know, increasing their skills and growing their network. Yeah. Can every Java developer participate or there are like some specifications or something? Um, every Java developer can participate, right? So you should, you know, put in your contributions and give your, you know, advice in terms of what you'd like to see, your experiences, sharing experiences is really helpful, reporting on bugs, commenting on the issue tracker, discussing on the mailing list as people are discussing different features to consider, adding your input and your perspective is always valuable so you know rather than just have the experts yeah. providing what they think it should be or how it how it is in the real world we actually have more of that experience from people using the technology out 
wherever they are in the world. So whether that's here in Copenhagen or it's in Spain or you know Whatever. wherever, Africa, Asia, everywhere, we have user groups participating from all over the world. Wow. Oh, impressive. Thank you for your time, Heather, and good luck with your talk. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.